In this video, I'm gonna show you how to take real gummy bears and turn them into these resin gummy bears and use them for something like that toilet seat right there. All right, so I am just starting out with whatever scrap wood that I have in my shop. So I made my mold and you can make whatever size mold you wanna make. You just gotta keep the silicone in, right? So thought process is make something with scraps so that way I don't have to come out of pocket and then fill it up with as many gummy bears as possible, pour in some silicone and then I'll be able to make some little gummy bears out of real gummy bears. Um, with my leftover resin, right? Because if you work with resin, then you have leftover resin sometimes, right? So here I am putting a sheathing tape. This is called tuck tape, and I will link it up down in the description. As you can see, I always do my corners first, no matter if I'm doing resin pours, because this is the same way that I make my resin molds if I was making a river table or a charcuterie board. So I always do my corners first and then I do the rest of it okay now I am actually using 100% silicone caulk and I'm making a bead around the bottom flip it over let it sit about 15 minutes and then do another bead on the inside you're gonna want to make the seal with your finger if you've ever seen a DIY video for a home then you've seen this done right all right so then I am taking all of my gummy bears that are too light Actually, I'm just taking my gummy bears, but I'm trying to use the lighter ones because when you put these white ones and yellow ones in resin, they kind of lose their pop, right? So thought process is use some opaque colors and then make some really, really bright gummy bears and they actually glow in a black light after I'm done. This silicone is from Alumalite. This is a two-part silicone, and it's a one-to-one. -one. So whatever you measure out in B, you have to measure out in A. And then you just mix until you see one solid color. After that, I'm pouring them all over the gummy bears. I'm pouring this all over the gummy bears. And if you don't know how to find volume, it is... Well, it's not that hard, but I do have a video on it, and I will link that up in the top right up in the right hand corner and that is how you know that you're mixing the right amounts no matter if it's silicone or resin speaking about that i actually go over all of this in depth in my epoxy resin 101 masterclass. this teaches you everything that you need to know about epoxy resin art any of those things this gets you started with zero knowledge and gets you going to the point that you have enough confidence that you'll be able to pour your first resin piece. I also have some for techniques as far as like geodes and oceans and flood coats and things like that. All right, so now you let this set for two hours and after two hours, then you go in and you take out whatever it is that you've casted in your silicone. In this case, gummy bears and a couple gummy worms. And these turned out so freaking cool. So I'm just taking all of them out and then I'm gonna take this razor blade knife and I'm gonna cut off all of the extra silicone that kind of seeped underneath of the gummy bears, right? Just like you're seeing right here. And the reason that I'm doing this is because when I pour resin in, I don't want any of that silicone going down into my resin and then having silicone in my resin, right? So to actually make my gummy bears, I am using Promise Epoxy UV Art Resin, and I'm using eye candy pigments for the colors, okay? And you can use code, well here, I'll just put them up on the screen, and then I'll add the links down in the description. You can get 15% off of Promise Epoxy, and 10% off of eye candy using my promo codes. All right, so here are the gummy worms and the gummy bears. These are so freaking cool. I actually got to demold them the next morning. So I poured them that evening, and then I, I went out the next morning, and that's what I got. And I'm using them for this candy toilet seat. And I'm actually working on a full tutorial for this. I wanted my gummy bears to pop. And regular gummy bears just didn't cut it for me. So, in order to make them pop and to stand out like the rest of the candies, I actually made my own. All right, you guys, thank you for following. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and subscribe so that way you can be notified when I drop the resin candy toilet seat video.
This thing is crazy. I was kind of lost when I got the order, but I figured it the hell out and it turned out so sweet. All pun intended. All right, you guys, like, subscribe. And for the comment question, what is your favorite color gummy bear? Mine is red. What is your favorite color gummy bear? Drop it in the comments and you'll be entered for the giveaway.